Good evening, Carlos Ernesto. Good evening, Julio Cesar. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Great to have you here in class. In two minutes, we are going to get started, okay? Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Carlos. Nice to listen to you, okay? Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Number 14, okay? Today is Monday. It is a new beginning. Vacations are next door. Okay. Las vacaciones están a la vuelta de la esquina. They are next door. A mí no me tocan vacaciones. Why not? ¿Por qué no? <laughs> Porque es temporada. Oh, really? Yes. And then, but you have double payment. Ah, solamente nos dan, creo yo, viernes y sábado. O sábado y domingo. Ah, okay. But that is something, yeah? Yes. But uh, you receive double payment, so excellent for you. Great, amazing. I would like okay. to have a job like that. Me gustaría tener un empleo como ese. <laughs> no le creo. Yeah, because, because you receive double payment. Okay. Hey, papi, hey, hey, hey. Yes, a lot no? of money. Yes, yeah. okay, a lot of money. Receive, receive, yeah, you make a lot of money because you receive double payment. Is that okay? Yes? Yes. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. You're making money, okay? So that's great. Not everybody in many in many places you work, but you don't receive double payment. So you are a lucky boy. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Okay, class, it is exactly the time to get started. I am so glad that all of you are here. It is a pleasure to be with you this week. Remember that uh, I need you to continue working. I see a hand, Maria Isabel hand. Okay. Um, I need you to continue working in the platform because today is our class number 14, but tomorrow is our class number 15. So by tomorrow, you need to be over. Good evening. Three. Good evening, Isabel. Nice to have you here. Mañana es la clase 15, por lo tanto, para mañana, la sección 3 tiene que estar terminada, ¿verdad? Para quienes están pendientes, hay quienes ya terminaron todo y sus exámenes también. Entonces, yo les invito a que trabajen porque eh, salimos de vacaciones el viernes, pero regresamos nosotros el día lunes 10 y el martes 11 estaríamos terminando. Para el día martes 11 todos deben haber terminado todo, es decir, el día 10 de abril deben haber terminado todo para que yo pueda actualizar ese día en la noche. ¿sí? Le salió bien a quienes están un poco atrasados porque van a tener la vacación para poder actualizar. ¿Sí? Okay. Okay. Yeah, but the others, you know, if you finish during this week, even you need four, excellent. Your vacation is over, all for you, yeah, and you Teacher, enjoy it. Yes. Do you have do you have extra quizzes or or uh, extra practices? Example? Yeah, going website to like a quizzes to practice. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. Runner. Yes. Uh, do you uh, want me to share them with you via WhatsApp? Yes. Yes, please. Okay, please. I'm going to share them with you. Okay, the live worksheets. Yeah. Okay. So you can see your grade, your grade immediately. Yeah. Así pueden okay. ver su nota inmediatamente. Yeah. And the ones that were right and the ones that were wrong. Yes, it is going to be a pleasure for me to be sharing all of that with you. And then, class, here we go. Let's see. Oh. I'm going to start sharing my PPT with you as every single day that we meet in here. And okay. thank you. Okay. I was about to. Okay, so here. Today is March 27th, correct? Let me check. Yeah. Tomorrow is the 28th. Yes, that's it. I'm double checking and thank you because you are confirming today is our class number 14. Greetings as every single day that we have been meeting here in this virtual classroom. 
we're going to have a feedback on what we did the last class. In the pre-task, are you going to help me reading the objective for today's class? And in the pre-task, we have talking about rules of etiquette in the classroom. In the preparation task, to, you're going to be defining the usage and application of the world etiquette. Uh, then we have as task number one, working at pages 35 and 36, you are going to create your own list of etiquette rules for your employees and the wrapping up of the class. So here is what I was uh, talking about. I need one of you to help me in order to read the objectives, the specific objective and the class objective. Thank you for, the, for being volunteering. The volunteer is? Me, teacher. Thank you so much. Please go ahead. Objectives, specific objectives. Student will be able to write or the written instruction on etiquette at, at the workplace. Class, class, class objective. Class objective. The student will be able to provide oral and written instruction and guidelines about etiquette in the workplace. Excellent. Very well. So here we are reinforcing what I was reading in the agenda, right? The class objective for today is that you as a student will be able to provide to give oral and written instructions and guidelines about etiquette in your workplace, okay? And then here, a reminder of what I was telling you before I began to share my PPT with you about homeworks and evaluations. Remember class that you need to, um, to be updating your homeworks and your evaluations because today is our class number 14 only six more classes and then your level is going to be over and you need to be in level number four, correct? So please go over those activities and the requirements as every day, your full name, when you connect to the class, okay, to the platform. In the case that you are listeners, you are the word listener, you know very well this, but remember, it is when you are on route or when you are at work, but if you are at home, you cannot be a listener. Recuerden que esto es cuando están en el trabajo o cuando van en ruta, pero si están en casa no tienen por qué ponerse oyente porque a veces por accidente conectan el micrófono y se escucha que están en casa, ¿verdad? Eh, se oye la televisión, la voz de los niños y todo lo demás, entonces eh, hay que, hay que eh, ubicarnos. The camera must be on during the session, minimize the sound as soon as possible, because remember that everything is recorded here and everything is listened and the active participation. That is why I'm telling you, because in the recording of the, of the classes, we can perceive that. So here the attendance is expected to be 100% of the classes, 120 minutes each class. The attendance is taken twice as every single day, at least at 8.20 or, you know, more or less uh, 9.40. It is going to be valid when we listen to the participants saying presente. Here I am or present. Se tomará como válida la asistencia al escuchar al participante decir presente y tener la cámara encendida. Esto lo dice INSAFORP y lo dice la administración de nuestra academia. No lo dice la teacher. And the sessions one on one are available for you at the end of the class. You know that every single day, one of you is assigned to stay with the teacher for 10 minutes, okay? And permissions, I am not authorized to give you any permission. Again, here, this is the expectation that you have your camera on because when Insafor monitors the classes, the videos, they need to see your faces to see that you are the one who is taking the class, not somebody else. And then the silence button, the, you know, the microphone off, camera on, the two chats are available, also the breakout rooms, the ask for help button is also available and respect above all. And here we are, today is this week, okay? Tomorrow we're going to be 
finishing section three and we're going to remain from tomorrow on only five more classes. Then that is why I'm encouraging you and telling you, please go over the activities in the platform. And here we go. Okay, I'm going to be asking one by one so you can tell me about the, the feedback. What do you remember we did last class, last Friday? Do you remember something? Recuerdan algo de lo que hicimos el viernes. Oh, 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 oh. Something that you remember. <laughs> Don't let me down, please. We, teacher, we, we practice short and professional email. Excellent, great, wow. Okay, listen. At the beginning, you were uh, asking and answering these questions, right? Do you send emails every day? Should emails be brief or long? You were asking. Can you mention three tips to write effective emails? That was a discussion. Later, you were here checking, okay, uh, the tips. Which of these tips you use for formal emails or the ones that you follow? Yeah, and then we were comparing as a class. Later, we practice this conversation and you took turns talking about the tips you checked in exercise number two because we were restructuring this conversation. So by now I need two participants in order to help me with this feedback. Okay, one is going to read what Amanda says and the other participant will read what Luis says. Okay, let me see who's going to read the two participants to read that conversation as part of the feedback. Only two, I need two participants. They can be boys or girls, no problem. If it is a boy and a girl, it's better. I appreciate your participation. Let hey, me, teacher. okay, thank you, Julio. You're going to read Luis and maybe Miss Catherine Beatriz, you're going to read Amanda. Yes, Catherine? Yes. Catherine. Yes. Okay, Catherine, you read Amanda and Julio reads Luis. Okay, to the count of three. One, two, three. Do you often see email? Yes, I do. Is a provide to use it a No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Okay, here we go. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate? Appropriate is read the way it is written, okay? Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. And then you continue the conversation with these tips, the ones that you chose, okay? And then here, we were working on steps to write a formal email, right? And here you have a list, yeah? Uh, fill in the subject line with a topic relevant to your recipient and not just document or important because as I told you guys, everything is important in this world, okay? It is important, a piece of paper, a leaf that falls from the tree. Yeah, everything is important. Even insects are important, you know, for, for human beings to survive, for the ecosystem to continue, you know, in this world. So include a polite salutation, EG. EG stands for, for example, dear Mr. Blah, blah, dear Mrs. Blah, blah, good morning, blah, 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 okay? Write your main point in the opening sentence. Don't use all capital or all lowercase letters. Avoid abbreviations, for example, instead of please. 
Be polite, remember to write please and thank you. Be brief if your message is too long, consider using an attachment. Use a closing phrase like best regards, regards, looking forward to your comments, etc. Add a signature, signature block with appropriate contact information, your name, business, uh, address, and phone number. Edit and proofread before you send the message. In other words, number 10 is to read again what you are going to send and to make sure that the recipient is the one that you need to send that email. Verificar que el destinatario es la persona indicada y no lo vayamos a enviar como nos suele pasar. Equivocarnos, ¿verdad? Por la prisa, porque nos aparece ahí eh, un menú y le damos al primero y no es esa persona, es otra persona, ¿ok? But fortunately, only good things we share, ¿ya? Pero afortunadamente solo cosas buenas y de provecho compartimos en los emails especialmente del trabajo. No gossipings, ¿yes? No chismes. Correct. Teacher, teacher, ¿cómo se yes. llama cuando hay, hay dos Carlos iguales o dos o son iguales en el correo? Y me equivoco y eso lo mando a otro Carlos. O sea, esa, esos dos correos casi iguales, digamos. ¿Cómo casi, se llama? Casi igual. Fíjese que no son homónimos porque homónimos es cuando son exactamente iguales. Ah, correcto. Son, yes. son parecidos. Entonces no, no hay porque ahí quien comete el error somos nosotros, porque hay, aunque sea un punto, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. o, o el apellido algo, cambia. O, ajá, la escritura, algo cambia. Pero uh -huh. nosotros, por enviarlo rápido, nos equivocamos y hacemos clic en el incorrecto, ¿verdad? Pues, sí, claro. Ok, uh -huh. pero sí son homónimos cuando digamos uh, Carlos uh, Vides. Uh -huh. Hay tres Carlos Vides, pero... Eh, puede ser que alguien escriba vides con Z para hacerse distinguir de los demás, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Y no nos fijamos y yo quería enviarle el correo a Carlos Arceño Vides y se lo envía vides con Z, ¿verdad? Entonces es de tener uh -huh. cuidado. We need to make sure about what we are doing, okay? To avoid misunderstandings okay. and problems. And here you were analyzing these two emails. So you remember, and you were checking if they were formal or informal, and you were writing correcting the Informal situations were changed into the formal uh, writing, ¿ok? Lo informal e incorrecto lo convertimos en formal y lo escribimos de forma correcta. ¿Is that ok? Yes. Eso fue lo que hicimos o me equivoqué en algo. Yes, ok, great. Thank you, class. Thank you for being here. <gasps> Wilber Francisco, oh, Hello, class, teacher. you have a new partner. Yes, welcome. <laughs> my name is Irma. Irma Carvalho. I am so glad that you are my student. Okay, <laughs> hey, we're missing you. I, I was, I was uh, uh -huh, sick I teacher. Was, I, was, I was sick teacher. But you say with a huge smile, I was sick that it. It seems like it no, no. That you the last, at, the last, the last you, Tuesday, you, the last you at Tuesday the Bahamas? on Friday. Were the you last at the Tuesday Bahamas? Is yeah. On Thursday, <laughs> Friday, Saturday, Sunday, four days. You went to Miami, yes, in order to buy some things. Okay, with this. Yes. Okay, excellent. But I am here right now, teacher. Yes, you are back. Thank God. Okay, and we appreciate that. Welcome back. Ready. Okay, to begin, okay? You, you are, you, you are requemado. Yeah, that's why I, I was asking, were you in Miami? Were you it's another location. At the, at, at the Bahamas or, or were you at Croatan? Maybe, I don't know, yeah. So it's you a, look like, you look br brunette. I, you I look am, tan, tan bronceado. I, I am here in room my daughter. In your daughter's room? Yes, my daughter uh, is home. Uh, it looks like if you are in a in a in a resort at the beach. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, in the la last luz, unit, la, listen. In the luz. Uh -huh. In the camera. Yeah, listen. In unit four, we're going to be talking about that. 
about hotels, resorts, really? trips, and everything, yeah? <laughs> no, okay. así soy. Eh, eh, ah, natural, nice. Color. Así It's soy. natural. Oh, <laughs> my God. My skin. No, no filter, no filter, no filter. Hay que oír yeah. el micro. No filter. <laughs> yes. Ok. <laughs> Todo el curso habíamos estado siendo engañados. <laughs> ok, welcome. Welcome, all of you are really welcome, class, ok? I uh, I appreciate your your enthusiasm. Okay, class. So here, what do we have? It is a speaking time. Is the word etiquette familiar to you? Have you ever heard that word etiquette? ¿Han escuchado alguna vez esa palabra etiqueta? Etiquette. ¿Han escuchado alguna vez esa palabra? Yes, I yes a uh, Yes, I have or no, I have. Yes. yes okay. Yes. So yes, the, question is, the question is, is the word etiquette familiar to you? Yes, it is or no, it isn't. Mention two rules of etiquette at your workplace. And are these rules important and why? Why do you consider that etiquette is important, class? Uh, uh -huh. To be polite. To the with the co-workers and my with my family okay probably thank you so much another possibility mm -hmm. why is it important to use etiquette mm, to be respectful Res respectful very well Okay, so I have shared with you class the, the slide with the questions that you are going to be interacting with in the breakout rooms, but it is exactly the time to get started and I'm going to call your names to take your first attendance, is that okay? Andrea Lisbeth, absent. Present, present. Okay, Carlos. <laughs> Carlos. Carlos, Carlos Ernesto Absen. Elizabeth here, Johanna. Here. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Uh, Elizabeth <laughs> Johanna is absent. Evelyn. Evelyn, where are you? Evelyn. Maybe she is in her way. Flor Morena, Flor, Flor, Flor. Flor is absent. Okay. Freddy Celiseo. Freddy, are you here? Absent too. Hate cell. Here. Okay. Thank you, Miss. Thank you for being here. Julio Cesar. Thank you, please. Okay. Yes, the teacher. <laughs> Here I am. Okay. Miss Catherine. Thank you. Here. Thank you, Miss Catherine. Maria Isabel, she said she was going to be as a listener, but I think that she's having... Ah, you're here. Okay. But you are in your way home. Thank you, Miss. Letty, always here. Present. Thank you so much. Marvin Osvaldo is here or is absent? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Present. Me Mateo, Mateo. Mateo is absent. Absent at the moment. Miguel Angel, always. Always here, you know. Very close to heaven. Muy cerca del paraíso. Michael, yes. <laughs> Natalie, Natalia, <laughs> Natalia, she's absent. Rafael. I'm here, teacher. Always outer space, you know, keeping an eye on the planet. Yes, teacher. <laughs> uh, sí, yes, vigilando el planeta. Rudy, Rudy. Okay. okay. Virginia. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miss Virginia. 
It will be absent and Wilbur is back. Present teacher. After a nice uh, cruise, después de un crucero fabuloso, <laughs> <laughs> he's back. Okay, class. Now listen, you are going to ask and answer these uh, questions about etiquette. Yeah. And again, I'm going to uh, tell you that the questions are, is the word etiquette familiar to you? Yes, it is or no, it isn't. You have to mention two rules of etiquette at your workplace. Are these rules important at work? Why and why not? Because we are um, referring to the two rules that you are going to mention, the rules of etiquette at your workplace, okay? Are these rules important? Why or why not? And you give your reasons and that's it, okay? So here we go. I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms. I'm going to ask the platform to send you, let me see, create, four, 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 okay? Right now, I'm going to send you the invitation, guys. Here we go. Join your groups, please. Go to your groups, go to your groups. Bye-bye, see you, see you around, see you in your groups. I'll be visiting you in your groups as every day, okay? Everybody participating. It is a speaking time, speaking time. Okay. Miguel, we need you in group number one. Miguel. And Marvin in group number three. Okay, Miguel, you are having problems with your connectivity. Miguel, I sent you the invitation again. Okay, great. You are with two devices. Hello, Hazel. Hello, Andrea, Lisbeth, and Miguel. Hello, teacher. Okay, Miguel is here with you, uh, Hazel, and Andrea, Lisbeth. Okay, the three of you need to be participating, guys. Okay, teacher. Okay, great. Okay, your partners are Hazel and Andrea, Lisbeth. Bye. 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 La de etiqueta en su lugar de trabajo. No es etiqueta de vestir, sino etiqueta de, ajá, no es de vestir. At work. Ajá. En el trabajo. En el trabajo. Por ejemplo, acá nosotros, desde el inicio del curso, yo les mencioné la netiquette. Parte de la netiquette es la etiqueta en línea, en la red, en nuestro salón de clases, ¿sí? Uh, to, uh, to be respectful, not to use, uh, you know, curse words, you know, curse words, son lo que nosotros llamamos malas palabras, yes And uh, the dressing code also is part of the netiquette because even though we are in a virtual space, but it is our, our classroom. So we need to behave and act and dress as if we were in a real classroom, yes? Entonces, esa es la netiquette para nosotros, que a pesar de que no estamos en un espacio físico, pero esto es nuestro salón de clase. Entonces, debemos vestir, usar el vocabulario y eh, participar como si estuviéramos en un salón de clase real. Entonces, hay etiqueta para cada situación. Sí, en este caso, nos estamos focalizando en la etiqueta en nuestro trabajo, ¿sí? Ok. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye. Okay. Bye bye. Rudy, eh, debería ser que, que tu empleado, tu, la, tu personal a cargo debe de estar puntual. Esa sería una norma de etiqueta a cumplir o, o familiar para todos, que todos saben que está estar you some time in your work. Sí, otra podría ser este, 
como, bueno, lo volvemos a repetir, la respeto a los demás. Es una regla, aparte de una regla, es una etiqueta. Bueno, eso era, era todo, bueno, respeto. Entonces, la, la, norma de, la norma de etiqueta de aquí del, del, del programa es eso, respeto, dicen a todos. Ah, por ejemplo, para la clase, Ajá. que todos Ajá. la conocemos. Ajá. Es... También en el trabajo, donde quiera que vaya. Por ejemplo, se podría hacer una. Podría uh, ser. Avoid gossip. Well, eh, be personal and yet professional. Um, the other one could be made a good first impression teacher. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Um, Virginia. Uh, uh, is the word etiquette familiar to you? Sería... Mm, Meet, meet the entry tie. Oh, perdón. Regla, perdón. <laughs> eh, eh, meet the entry tie. Este, por ejemplo, cumplir horario de entrada. Ah, no, no. Eh, eh, no. Yo, yo le pregunto si le es familiar la palabra etiqueta. Ah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Is the word etiquette familiar to you? Um, yes or not? Sí, ahí solamente yes. Sería. Uh, yes, it is, creo que es. Yes, it is. Mrs. Oh, no. Yes, it is, es verdad, teacher. Yes, when the word is familiar to you, you say yes, it is. Or no, it is. When, si nunca pues no he escuchado iris. esta palabra, no iris, pero si la he escuchado, yes, iris. Ah, ok, ok, uh -huh. very good. Ok, Virginia. Uh, mention two rules of etiquette at your workplace. Yes. Uh, uh, menciona dos reglas de etiqueta en tu trabajo. Uh -huh. De ¿Cuáles podrían ser? Mm. Uh, Por ahí le mandé una a Boy Gossip. ¿Le, le, ah, ¿le parece? Okay. Es como evitar los chismes. A Boy Gossip. Evite chismes. Ajá, eh, la otra es eh, que le comentaba yo, eh, make a good first impression, que creo que es importante dar una buena primera impresión. Um, ¿Qué más podría ser? Eh, teacher, avoid the lovers lovers o, o... Uh, ajá no that would be no. es que cuando usted dice lovers es amantes entonces, <laughs> entonces sería uh, okay. romantic relationships ok ok avoid romantic relationships sí porque creo que romantic fui... relationships a lovers es otra cosa más grave <laughs> más grave todavía y eso no son dos son dos pasos más profundos ahí. Mm -hmm. And troublesome, uh, more conflict. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. because romantic relationships, single people, yeah. Yes. But the other, what you said, oh my God. So it's the third that. person, t Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> triangle. <laughs> triangle, yeah. Triangle okay. of love. Yes, okay. <laughs> you, bye. Okay. Of etiquette at you. La primera que tengo es eh, 
calls of attention must be in private. Es decir, los llamados de atención tienen que ser en privado. Y la otra cuestión, eh, we cannot take off our shoes. Eh, so, es una regla de etiqueta que no podemos quitarnos por ningún motivo los zapatos dentro de la oficina, ¿verdad? Sería rarísimo. <risa> y sí. es... Sí, sería rarísimo. Even though if they are high heels. You may change no. them, but you, se los puede cambiar, pero no puede andar sin. Or, but in the bathroom, no in the office. <risa> ajá, ajá. You may change them in the bathroom, not in the office. Uh, yes, yes. Si la ven entra con high heel shoes, tiene que mantenerse con los high heels. No, 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 no. Yeah, because okay. I have, I have seen uh, as, as some uh, girls in uh, one bank. I'm not going to mention the name of the bank because this is uploaded to YouTube. Yeah, but uh, they are, I think that they are in sales or customer service. But they are not the, the, the tellers. No son las cajeras. The other people, you know? Uh -huh, okay. Yes. Uh -huh. to, uh -huh. uh, that they are even with, with tennis. Maybe. Yes. In, in, and I was thinking maybe they were coming, you know, to the office with high heel shoes, but they changed. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Now uh -huh. is not a rule and because for the health of, of us. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's okay. Okay, great. Excellent. That's a good change. Okay, continue. Yes. Sorry for the interruption. No problem. And for the last questions, are these rules important? Yes. It's part of the organ. They cause is part of the order. ¿Y qué mm -hmm. más? Podría ser. Eh, parte del orden. Mm -hmm. Y también este muchas veces cuando las personas lo ven a uno con uniforme como que hay más más respeto. Informática. Eh, entonces, respeto. La estructura del, del tiempo contexto. en el estado, del contexto, ah. correcto. Ajá. Entonces, sí, ahí como que me fue dando como un poco más abrir los ojos de, de que, que, cómo tenía que hacerlo. Para no ser tan literal, ¿verdad? Correcto. Eso es correcto. Ready, finish the discussion. Um, yes, yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, sí. the, this rule is And Rudy? Rudy's? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. ready. Okay, let's return and let's okay. share. Yeah, okay, great. Let's wait for the other partners to return. In 25 seconds, everybody will be here. Teacher. Yes, sir. Uh, what, what do you think about uh, when the 
some people using uh, uh, in this moment uh, we speak with uh, I don't know with Virginia about the nickname in the workplace. Uh -huh. Okay. And she she uh, told talk, me that about this is, etiquette. Yes, yes. In in the nickname in front to the customer is is very bad. Is it doesn't very, uh, it, uh -huh, it doesn't sound professional. Yes. 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 Okay. I agree with you. Okay. Thank you. But you know it depends on the on the company. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Hey, I'm so happy. Many of you are almost done. I'm checking the the platform. Catherine, very well, Catherine. But I need, let me see. <laughs> Flor Morena is not here, right? She needs to continue working. And Freddy Celiseo, I need you to update. Okay. Let me see. Elizabeth Johanna with unit three, but she still has time. Evelyn also in week three. Maria Isabel is okay. Hi, Matthew. Mateo is not here, right? He needs to work on that. And on the other part of the list, Virginia is okay. Okay. And Wilbur is okay. Okay, Wilbur. You were absent, but you were working, you know, at the beach, at the resort, but working very hard. <laughs> <laughs> and all the first were like, can we help you? Okay. <laughs> With the help of the tourists <laughs> in the place where you were, that's okay. Okay, class, now that you are here, let's continue. And here we go. Okay. Uh, this is part of the feedback that we did and uh, here, okay? These are the questions that you were asking and answering in the breakout rooms. So the objective for today is to provide written and oral instructions on etiquette at the workplace. Let's read the article on workplace etiquette guidelines. Then you are going to identify the key details to answer the comprehension questions that we have below the article, good etiquette or good <coughs> etiquette at the workplace. There are many workplace etiquette guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you had an emergency, that is okay. However, habitual latecomers are never appreciated in any organization. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible for responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the concern authority and report the reason why you are late. Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace email etiquette, uh, workplace email etiquette of other countries, called it, in the official emails. You need to mention the subject clearly and concise and be concise. You also need to include all the important details. You should use formal and grammatically correct language for emails. In addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisors. Listen to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretations. Etiquette guidelines are important even when you are celebrating with your coworkers. If you get a call when you are eating, say, excuse me, and then receive the call. Do not talk loudly while eating. And remember to close your mouth when you mm, chew. Mm, this is chew. 
you should remember that your behavior and manners are under observation. Following etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role for future promotions. And then you have in here some, uh, some sentences that you need to complete. Okay, you have uh, four. Okay, so class, I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms. Make sure that all the participants read the complete article. Okay, we have how many paragraphs? One, two, three, four paragraphs. Okay, <coughs> so everybody participating and later you go over the completion of these sentences and, and in the case of number two is to answer, okay? And you decide if it is A, B, or C, the best choice. Do you have any question about this activity? We are working at page 35. Is that okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, okay yeah, teacher. great. Now, each one has to read everything, right? Yes, because it is reading, comprehension, and pronunciation, okay? So you okay. take turns, yeah? Remember, for example, as we do always, if Hazel reads the first time paragraph number one, the second time that everybody reads, Hazel is going to read the second paragraph. The third time, Hazel reads the third paragraph and so on, okay? The idea is that all of you participate reading. And remember, practice makes perfect. Besides that, it is reading comprehension. The more you read, the more you understand and comprehend the paragraph, okay? And later you go over the four questions. Any other question, class? No questions? No question. Okay, let me see, here we go. Hmm. I think some of you are having problems with the connectivity. Let me see how many people. One, two, three, four. The problem is with the listeners. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, there are four students in each group. I'm going to send you the invitation right now, class, okay? Here we go. Join your groups, please. And let's begin with the practice. Isabel, welcome. Evelyn, welcome. Let me see, there is one, Evelyn. Evelyn, Evelyn, Evelyn. Evelyn, are you with two devices? No, you aren't. Okay, Evelyn, I'm going to send you the invitation, okay? If it is possible, Evelyn, please go to group number four. Evelyn, I sent you the invitation to go join group number four. Evelyn, le envié la invitación para que se una al equipo cuatro, please. If it is possible, okay, great. You're... Si no llamo, no le aprueban los créditos, dice. <laughs> Comience usted, Wilber. Vaya. Good eti etiquette at the workplace. There are many workplace etiquette guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you had an emergency, that is okay. Whoever habitual late commerce are never appreciated in any organization. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good eti etiquette guideline will be to call the concerned authority and report the reason why you are late. Julio? Okay. Right. Right. Etiquette is also important where you have to communicate, communicate with employees or clients 
in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace email etiquette of the country in the official email. You need to mention the subject clearly and be coincident. You also need to include all the important details you should use formal and grammatical correct language for email. Virginia. Okay. In addition, a connect head of the left telephones etiquette in the workplace is okay letty you begin okay okay comienzo yo letty maria isabel Ay, is maria uh, leticia oh my god Ay. you are always in my mind you are always in my mind <laughs> bye bye <laughs> so sorry, so sorry, Isabel. No. <laughs> no, it's a joke, Mister. A broma. Okay. Okay. Es que yo no sé cerrar la boca. Igual. Ajá. Sí, ajá. Cabal. Sí. Cerrar la boca. <laughs> sí, con la boca. Correcto. Ah, okay. Vale, voy yo. Eh, there are many workplace etiquette guidelines. But the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you have an emergency, that is okay. However, habitual late comers are never appreciated in any organization. If you get to your office on time, eh, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the concerned authority and report the reason why you are late. Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In those cases, it, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace email etiquette, etiquette of other countries in the official emails. You need to mention the subject clearly, clearly and be concise. You also need to include all the important details you should use. No, yo creo que no está ahí. Expresarse con claridad, usar un saludo. And grammatical correct. Bueno, no veo ahí. ¿Quién, quién sigue para leer? Catherine, I think. Yes, teacher. Okay. Continue reading. Which paragraph mm -hmm. is for Catherine? ¿Cuál paragraph fue para Catherine? El número tres, teacher. One, two, three, okay. In addition, in addition knowledge. In addition knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on telephone and so boy during our daily work. Be polite when you tell your employees on your services. Listen to why the side careful and you know interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretations. Wrong interpretations, okay? Okay. Next. Mm. 
who is the next participant for paragraph number four? Evelyn, you are not available yet, right? Evelyn by Ruta to Avi. Etiquette, get a line or import event where you are celebrating, celebrating with your co workers. If you get a call with you are aiding, say, excuse, excuse me, and they <clears throat> receive a they call, do not talk, all the writing, aiding. And remember to close it your mouth when you quit, switch your show. Remember that that you bear, como se pronuncia? Remember that your bear, behavior, behavior, be, behavior and manners are under observation following. Etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role for future promotes. Okay. So the, the four of you, because Evelyn is in her road. Now that was the first or the second chance. People, esa fue la primera o la segunda ronda. La primera. La primera teacher. Okay, now continue reading. Remember okay. who, who read first, now is going to read second and so on, yeah? Okay. okay. Entonces comienza Andrea. Okay. Okay. <laughs> eh, no, Andrea, vez... ajá, ya lo dijo usted. Entonces. Because you all need to in Clay are important the lies. You should use for um, grammatic, grammatical correct language for email. In addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some at some point during our daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employees or just your supervisor. Listen to, to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretations. Inter okay, etiquette with the line are important. Even when you are celebrating with you, co work him. If you get a call when you are eating, say, excuse me, and the resident in the call do not talk loudly with eating and remember to class you months when you chill, you chill, remember that you behave, behave, behave and manners are under observation following Etiquette with the line can play a very vital role for future promotion. Virginia? Ya terminamos. <laughs> ¿Cuántas sí. veces lo han leído? Dos. Pero es que todos tienen que leer todos los párrafos. Vaya. La tercera vamos, Tito. Ah, pues y, vamos y, para la y, tercera. Y, y yo ya sé quién se va a tener que quedar conmigo quizás eh, los diez minutos. Está bien, teacher. Adiós, teacher de Julio. Ay, 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 
<laughs> okay, Bye. continue reading. The, okay, teacher. Virginia, the, siga. Yeah. There are many workplace etiquette when the when no, no, no. Sería <laughs> no, letter B. Call the yes, person call you the report person to. You report to. Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. for, because compensate time? Mm, no. I don't no. know. No. I don't know. <laughs> It's possible, but it's possible, <laughs> but no, 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 everything, no, no, all in companies is permission. Mm -hmm. letter, letter B. Mm -hmm. yeah. Letter B. Letter okay. B. Okay, la segunda es what is a tip to up, up, apply, apply. Ah, perdón. So sorry, teacher. <laughs> apply <laughs> to. It's okay. It's okay. Yes, yes, it's okay. The teacher. <laughs> what is a tip to apply in official emails? ¿Qué dice? Que... Emails, ¿qué dice? Es como que tips. Eh, ¿qué tip? No, que Ajá. sí, tip ¿Qué hay tip? que aplicar en los emails. En los correos oficiales. oficiales, oficiales. Send a mail in English, no creo, ¿verdad? Porque si estás en español, no, no, no tiene relevancia enviarlos en tu idioma. Use a long salutation, no creo que necesite un gran no, saludo, no, ¿verdad? No, yo creo Entonces, que. Entonces, la number C, ¿verdad? La letter C, ¿verdad? La number C, Rafael. La number C. La number C. Why? Letter C. Sorry, teacher. The letter C. This teacher, this teacher is from another world. Este teacher es de otro mundo. Yes, teacher. Okay. Too excited. Okay. The no, number no. three say which mm -hmm. is not good etiquette when talking on. Está teacher. Hello, teacher. Uh, I have a doubt in the sentence number four. You have a doubt. Yeah, I have a doubt. We have a discussion. <laughs> hey, I have a dude. Tengo un amigo. <laughs> un chero. Oh, a, a doubt. A doubt. Da doubt. Doubt. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I have a doubt. Okay, hold uh, it. Hold it, hold it. Aha, uh -huh. tell me. Which, which one the answer? Are you in and number one, two, three, or four? In four. The number four. If you receive a call while you yes. are eating with coworkers, you should. Uh, I don't know. Answer the call. Because answer the call the... at the table or leave the table and answer the call. Uh, if we use the paragraph, if just uh, say excuse me and then receive the call. Yeah, but when you say excuse me, it's because you are going to move from the table. Uh, ah, it's leave, the, leave the table. The, yeah, you leave the table. Uh, number oh, C. Okay. Because you don't answer the call at the table. You letter don't ignore C. the call and continue eating. No, it is letter C. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. 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 It's a clear teacher. Okay, now it is clear. Okay, thank you. And in this team, only two students. Ah, Rudy. Yeah. Rudy was here. Maybe he lost the connectivity because he was assigned to this group. Yes, he, uh -huh. he, he was in, estaba sin rato acá. Okay, he was with you, practicing. Okay. Mm, so, so. Okay, good. 
So did all of you read the four paragraph? Todos leyeron los cuatro párrafos. No, just Carlos so, so. and me. The four paragraphs. Yes. yes. So you see when you are less students, you have more chances to practice. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. And uh, I have a question for you, Miss Heise. I don't okay. know if it is if it is now a rule uh, that was adopted lately by different banks, but the people don't wear a uniform. No, not necessary. Uh, well, uh, in customer service, yes. In other positions, no. Because I have perceived that in different banks, the tailors and the people who are, you know, in the customer service, they don't wear uniforms in two banks. The only mm. thing is that they have the, the, the badge, okay? That is the only yes. thing. Uh, probably in because- the uh, bank, uh -huh. it's, it's a uniform, but uh, we can, they can use in, Las piezas en, en diferente orden, no importa. So it is not a, it is not a uniform. No, but Ellos my, my point is... Ajá. La misma blusa, pero como tienen cuatro más, pueden usar esta hoy o pueden utilizar la otro día. Okay. Solo que no pueden utilizar otra que no sea esta blusa, por ejemplo. O sea, tienen que usar las cuatro o cinco que le dan, no importa el orden. Ah, ok. Ajá. But that is in your company. No, in Banco Promerica, sí tiene un Yeah, company. okay. They, they, but they but in, in the other banks, they don't. In two banks. In one bank, yeah. it's because they are outsourcing. Oh, really? Yes, Banco Agricola, no tiene cajeros propios. Solo outsource. Really? Oh. Yes. Oh. No, but mm -hmm. ellos, no son, ellos no son planilla banco, son solo houses. Why? Yeah, and I was to tell you about that. That, for example, that, uh, well, I'm not going to mention the name of the bank, right? But they don't wear uniforms. And I was thinking probably because previously, in the years before, okay, pandemic, the bank okay. used to give uh, or provide the uniforms to the employees, but now not anymore. So they are saving money if they don't uh, provide you with a set of uniforms. Yes, pero cuando ellos son outsourced, no, no le dan uniformes. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's a rule when they are okay. outsourced. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so sad in for other them. Bank, in our other banks, Ellos sí les dan uniformes, pero hacen eso. Van en, les dan la libertad de utilizar uh -huh. como ellos quieran la combinación. Ok, oh, so there is okay. not, there is not a, a, a specific dressing code. For, okay. Sí. Okay, or yes. like a schedule. Ah, that, that's not. Uh -huh. okay. Ajá, eso no. Es no schedule. Sí. Ok. No. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's interesting to know, right, how things change. Because long time yes. ago, it was uh, that they were part of the good etiquette that girls in a bank were using, you know, their uniforms very elegant, like if they were a flight attendant. Yes? And high in, shoes. On my, on my first job, it was like that. Mm -hmm. Banco Salvadoreño. <laughs> it was, okay, but it sí. vanished. It said goodbye. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's good to know. Okay, so yes. class, now let's return to the main session room to discuss. Okay, thank okay. you okay. for your participation. Thanks a lot. Rudy is here, he's back. Rudy, yes, did, you, did you have problems yeah. with your connectivity? Sí, tuve un problema con el internet. Ya no pude ingresar a la sala. Ah, okay. 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 Okay
Yeah, they, you lost the, the interesting part about the discussion of the questions and the answers. But anyways, sí, you are here, okay? The good thing yeah, is that you are here. Sí, la respondí. Ah, okay, great, excellent. Let's wait for the other partners to return. Once there are still two groups working, but in seven seconds, they are going to be back. Okay, so here we go. Um, Leti, you are going to read paragraph number one. Isabel, okay. you are going to read paragraph two. Uh, Wilbur, paragraph three. Mm, let me see. Hetzel, paragraph four. Okay, and here we go. It's two. Okay, let's begin. A todo. <laughs> the first oh, paragraph. The ah, okay, first okay. paragraph. I said. You Betty okay. paragraph one, Isabel paragraph two, Wilbur paragraph three, and Hazel paragraph four. And you were terrified. Oh my God, <laughs> all the article only for me. Okay, begin with paragraph okay. one. Okay. Okay. Good etiquette of the workplace. There are many workplace etiquette with all, with daylight. Guidelines, 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 but the most yes important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you had an emergency, that is okay. However, 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 habitual late commerce are never appreciated, appreciated. appreciated in any organization. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette with island guideline with guideline no guideline 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 mm -hmm. guideline will to be called the concerned authority and report the reason why why you are late thank you continue next isabel okay etiquette is called also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in many parts of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have one good um, knowledge, 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 knowledge of the workplace emails etiquette or the etiquette of other countries in the official emails. You need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. And be concise. Concise. You all, concise. Concise. You also need to include include all the important details. You should use formal and grammatical correct correct language for email. In addition, knowledge of the of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisor. Listen to what say to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretations. Thank you. Educate guidelines 
are important even when you are celebrating with your coworkers. If you get a call when you are eating, say, excuse me, and then receive the call. Do not talk loudly while eating. And remember to close your mouth when you chew. You should remember that your behavior and manners are under observation. Following etiquette guidelines it can play a very vital role for the future promotions. Excellent, very well. Congrats. Just remember guys here, guidelines, however appreciated, guidelines, concern, cases, knowledge, concise, yeah? And here we go with the second round. Uh, Rafael, number one is yours. Okay. Isabel, number two is yours. Okay, uh, Miguel. Hello, Miguel. Yes, number three is yours. Okay. Carlos, number four is yours. Okay, Carlos? Okay, teacher. Okay, here we go. Remember, we are, we are practicing reading, listening, and comprehension. Okay? Okay. Okay, okay I'm going to show it to you. Okay, number one. There are many there are many workplace etiquette guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you have an emergency, that is okay. However, habitual late comers are never appreciated in any organization. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization if you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the concern authority and report the reason why you are late. Very well, continue. Next. <laughs> Compliance in compliance in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace, email etiquette of other countries in the official office official emails. You need to mention the sub, uh, subject clearly and be concise. You also need to include all the important details. You should use informal and grammatical correct language for emails. In addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisor, listen to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretations. Thank you. Uh, etiquette guidelines are important even when you are celebrating with your coworker. If you get a call when you are eating, say, excuse me, and then receive the call. Do not talk lowly while, while eating. And remember to close your mouth when you shoot. You should remember that your behavior and manner are under observation. Following etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role for future promotion. Thank you. Let's remember chew, chewing gum. Chew. Chew, chewing gum, maca el chicle, okay? When you chew, uh, cuando mastiques. Okay? Chew. Viral, viral, yeah? Viral. Oh, yeah, viral, vital. Viral. Mm -hmm. Parecido viral. a viral, a viral. This is viral. similar to viral, yeah. Okay, now that we have listened to eight partners, we are going to answer these uh, situations. 
complete the sentences or answer the questions. In number one class, if you know you are late, you should compensate the time, call the person you report to or not do anything about it. A, B, or C. B. B. Okay, very well. Now, number two. What is a tip to apply in official emails? Send the email in English, use a long salutation, or express the subject clearly. A, B, or C? C, C. Excellent. Yes, Teacher, sir? Can I leave the class for one moment? Please. Uh, only five minutes, five minutes. Only five minutes, okay. We, we start, we start <laughs> counting the seconds. Okay, okay. One, two, uh, three, go. Go, you can go, okay, no problem. Hurry up, okay. hurry up. Okay, now let's continue. In number three, which is not good etiquette when talking on the phone? Speak using clear voice, interrupt the other speaker or use polite language. Which is not in the B. Very well, letter B. Number four. If you receive a call while you're eating with coworkers, you should ignore the call and continue eating. Answer the call at the table. Leave the table and answer the call. B. Which one? Letter C. Letter C. Letter C. And actually, it is not only at work, but it is everywhere, yeah? Everywhere you go, and if you are in a meeting, because it is a disrespect to be in one activity and to be talking, yeah? Okay, questions about this? No. Any questions? Okay, now let's move to the next activity. You are going to summarize five etiquette guidelines from the article. Okay, you have to identify which are those guidelines and you need to summarize them here, okay? One, two, three, four, five. Ready? I'm going to transfer you to the breakout room so you can work on that, yeah? Here we go. That is why I insisted that you had to read the article and you had to take turns. And that is why I also made an emphasis and chose at random some of your partners in order to read, yeah? Because now that you have been uh, practicing, you have a better knowledge of the article, it's going to be easier for you to identify the uh, etiquette rules and you write them, okay? Here we go. We okay. I'm going to send you the invitation right now. Go to your groups, please. Miguel, your partners where? Can I have your company? Um, Rafael, Isabel, is la otra muchacha. No me okay, Rafa. I'm going to look for Isabel and Rafael. Both names yes. end in L. <laughs> So it is room number two, okay, here. I'm going to send you the invitation right now, Miguel. Go to your group. Okay. Okay, Isabel, bye-bye, go to your group. Okay. La traducción del, de la, del, ¿cómo se llama? ¿Indicación? De la indicación hey, hey, 3. Hold it, hold it. Wait, for your, <laughs> wait for your teacher, he is in his five minutes break. Ok, he's coming soon. Y pronto regresará su teacher, Rafa. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> ok. Eh, ok. Vaya, vaya, vamos, vamos a identificar eh, cinco... Eh, etiquette, etiquette. Ok. Eh, del arco. The first etiquette is eh, there are many workplace etiquette guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual. Is the first 
the first etiquette is uh, be punctual to your office. Ser puntual en la oficina. Sí, ser puntual en la oficina. La puedes su, su, eh, remarcar, remarcar. ¿Dónde, dónde? dónde? Eh, eh, to, be, to be punctual to your office. To be punctual. To be. It's not. To be punctual. ¿Cuál es la otra que dijo, Carlos? ¿Cuál es la otra que identificó o no dijo? Eh, la otra. Que le concierne authority and report the reason which you are leading. And don't that is it? Este de en la donde dice um, will be will be to call the concerned authority and report a la autoridad correspondiente ¿verdad? por una llegada tarde ah en, una... la, en la al final del primer párrafo uh -huh. <coughs> Dice en la segunda que aquí is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. Mm -hmm. Eso también dije que es importante con los compañeros y los clientes. Ajá, pero no sé si ya se va a conectar con la otra porque sigue diciendo eh, It's necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace and make etiquette of country. No sé si va a parte o va a unir. Bueno, ya un punto, pero... Y reportar la razón. And report the reason with you are late. Yes. Es, uh, es, es another. Ética es... Uh, ética is also important when you have communicate. Oh, bien, probably. Oh, claim on um, part of the world. In those cases, it's something that is said to happen of the world. I don't know how to do it. 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 Mira, esta es la que habla con el email. No te la leí, tío. No te la recuerdo, sí. Aquí. Ah, uh, did you, uh, you need mention to subject clearly and, and by consist. Ok. Sí, hasta ahí. Entonces sería de you need. To oh. mention, to, to mention. Ok, la vamos a cambiar. To mention. The subject. Clearly. Y la otra donde empieza should. Should. Oh. 
Ah, ¿qué? Ajá, donde dice que debe utilizar un lenguaje formal. You, use hold. Use formal and grammatical correct language for email. Uh -huh. aunque, ahí, aunque ahí lo que le está diciendo es eh, la forma en la que debería de, de expresarse uh -huh. sí. dentro del correo o el lenguaje a utilizar. Pero en sí la, la, la etiquette guideline sería will be to mention the subject clearly and by consist. In addition, this knowledge uh, of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point. Listen to what they say and they listen to, to it. To what? Uh, be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisor. It's another etiquette. Ser educado cuando hablas con tus empleados o tus supervisores. Uh -huh. Sí, esa sería otra. Ok, ya solo nos faltaría una. Y donde dice después de supervisor, listen to, to why. Donde dice escucha lo que dicen con atención y no interrumpa. Lo mismo. Esa es otra. Ajá. Ah, tú dices de, de aquí a aquí. Uh -huh. Bueno, es que ahí están tres seguiditas porque la otra es bastante. Listen to listen listen to what they say carefully. Uh -huh. Ajá. Escuchar lo que dicen. O sea, ya soy morenito, verdad? Pero pero ahorita me veo <risa> negra la pantalla total. No no se le ve. No. <risa> okay. Okay okay. Lo bueno es que me escucho. Y los escucho. Sí. Eso es lo importante. Sí. Y lo importante es que le cumplimos también a la teacher. Five minutes, yes. only that. Five minutes. Mentira, teacher. Se acaba de unir. I am run. How oh, Forrest Gum. Run, Forrest, run. Y dije, correcto. Oh, run, ¿Sí? Rafa, run, Rafa, run, run, run Rafa. Okay, you're a very responsible teacher. Okay. <laughs> Your students were waiting for you. Yes. Okay. Yes. With the people. As yes. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hello, finished. Yes. Okay. I think yes, teacher. Uh, there are more than five, correct? Hay yes. más de cinco, ¿verdad? Many yeah. more. Many, many. Okay, yeah. Because it is, you know, a wide world, depending on the on the place where you are and under the circumstances, correct? There is yes. a, an etiquette okay. for everything. When you are at the table, yeah. When you go, for example, to a party at the beach, and there is a okay. special etiquette, right? For every situation. Yes. Okay. When okay. you go to a, when you go to a wedding party also or a wedding ceremony, yeah. Remember, you don't have to wear in blank in 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 uh, white or uh, blue the boys or black, yeah, because mm -hmm. that is the color for the for the new the new uh, husband and wife, yeah. And they need to be the stars, not you. Or, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, otherwise okay. you get in troubles. Okay. Mm, let's see. Yes. Eh, 
the the form which you put the teaspoon or the in, in on the on the um plato oh, the format, yeah. or yeah. la position the position yeah. the, when you put the, the, the teaspoon every 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 utensil when you are eating yeah yes, that is yes. a traditional etiquette and everybody almost everybody is terrified because they are not used to put into practice the etiquette when you are at a table yeah okay. and also for the for uh, for the drinks the different cups or glasses that is why okay. they have different shapes different shapes and also sizes por eso tienen diferentes tamaños y, y formas ya yeah. uh, vasos ya yeah, and, and the cups y los y, lo, y las copas uh, okay. when you uh, take the eh uh, brindas cuando se brinda yeah. ajá uh ya -huh. yeah. Okay. There and also there is a there is an etiquette how to take it, depending if it is wine, champagne, champagne, okay. or water, whatever. Okay. Or only Coca Cola. Yes, but there is a, 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 a you know, <laughs> and it's for everything. Yeah. Okay. okay, let's return then, and we're going to see that maybe the different groups have a spotted different. Uh, etiquettes in the article okay thank you okay. here we go teacher may i share uh, my answer yes uh, with yeah, um, uh, hazel uh, so i try to uh, put five ethical guidelines Okay, hold it because we need to wait for the others to return. Yeah. Okay. We are going to be back in 25 seconds. Okay. I still have one, two, three, three groups working in the breakout rooms. Let's wait for them. Okay, teacher. Okay. Teacher, do you go to the beach in the Semana Santa? Uh, sometimes, but the first days. Because, ah, okay. Yeah, because from Thursday on, too many people. Yeah. yeah. But I'd rather is, uh... go to, to the mountains or rivers. Okay. Yeah, because a, a, a lot of a, a lot of drunkers, a lot of, a a lot lot of crowds. Drunkers. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. Especially yeah. with the driving cars, and also the 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 traffic is yeah, mm, it's horrible. This a heavy, it's worse than chaotic. Okay, yes. let me see if everybody's back because I'm not sharing. Okay, everybody's back. So uh, we're going to have the first presenters and that is group number three, Carlos, Hazel, and Trudy. Okay, begin. Okay, uh, Hazel, could you uh, read the first sentence or answer? Hello. Hey, Tell, are you here? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> okay. The first one uh, for us is be punctual. Okay. Uh, the second, if you know you are late, you should call the person to report. Number three, in the official emails, mention the subject clearly and be concise. And number four, be polite when you talk, talk to your employees or supervisor. And number five, be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretations.
Thank you. Thank you so Thank much you. for Thank sharing. You. Very well done. Okay, well done. And now let's listen to the next team. Um, Maria Isabel, Miguel, and Rafa, are you ready or not yet? Yes, teacher. Okay, please. We are ready. Okay. Isabel, are you? You, um, Isa. Okay. You, Isa. Okay, Miguel, you continue. Yes, it's a, uh, the number two is in the in the official email. You need to, to mention the subject clearly and be concise. And number three, you should use formal and grammatical correct language for emails. E, the number four and number five, uh, Rafael, please. Okay, <clears throat> be polite when you the number four, be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisor. And if you get a call when you are eating, say, excuse me, and then receive the call. Very well done. Next group. <laughs> Let me see. Here we go. Andrea Lisbeth, Evelyn. Catherine, Letty, Marvin. Okay. Number two, be punctual to your office. And one, two, <laughs> you are responsible okay. and you respect to organization. Okay. Uh, next. <laughs> next partner. You should use a formal and grammatically correct language for email. Language for email. Language for email. Uh, uh, be be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretation. And number five. Do not tell, do not tell only while eating and remember to close your mouth with your check. check. Okay, thank you. That was a good practice. And now the next team, Julio Cesar, Virginia, Wilbur. Yes, teacher. Five uh, etiquette guidelines from the workplace are uh, to be punctual to your office, uh, to to call the concerned authority. Okay. Uh, to mention the subject clearly and be concise. Julio. Okay. Um, be polite uh, when you talk to your employer or your supervisor. Listen to what they say careful and do not interrupt. He does not talk loudly with evening and remember to close your mouth when you chill. Okay, thank you so much. That's great. We hold it. Over here. Thank you, class. You participated actively. Now I'm going to call your names for your second attendance. Andrea Lisbeth. Present. Thank you. Carlos Ernesto. 
here, teacher. Elizabeth Johanna. Present. Thank you, Miss. Uh, Evelyn. Evelyn. Flor. She said that she was not going to connect. Fredis, Eliseo. Are you here, Fredis? Fredis, are you here? <laughs> Hazel. Here. Forever and ever. Thank you. Julio Cesar. Julio, Present. are you here? <laughs> Así me va a decir eh, después de la clase. Present. Present. Así me va a decir a oh, 10 minutos. One on one session, Julio. Catherine. Present. No, Julio. Eh, tengo que pedirle seriamente. Eh, van a disculpar, ¿verdad? Pero sí voy a tener que hacer un llamado serio a Miss Catherine para que se quede conmigo después de la clase. Miss Catherine. Please. Ok. Sí, ok, todos son testigos y quedó grabado en la clase. Ok. Catherine, <risa> cuando se dice termina, en julio es muy feliz porque dice, oh my God, it's not me. Ok. Tres veces le va a tocar a Julio por haberme abandonado aquel día. María Isabel, here. <laughs> Marvin. Marvin. Present. Team boy. Uh -huh. Marvin is here. Ay, Mateo is absent. Sí, quien está ausente es Mateo. Natalie. Natalia is absent. But she was here at the beginning, correct? Eh, Miguel Ángel. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael. Here, teacher. Thank you. Rudy. Rudy, Present. Rudy. Virginia. Present, Present teacher. Uh, Wendy. Wendy Alexia is absent. And Wilbur. Present teacher. Here. Okay, teacher, class. Yes. A mí no me mencionó. ¿A quién no mencioné? María Leticia. No, no puede ser. De, Ma de María Isabel se pasó al, al siguiente, menos a mí. Yes, but you are always in my mind, Miss. Sí, pero siempre está en mi mente porque ya tiene aquí su asistencia. Ah, okay. Be practicing, sí. Thank you. Ya, yeah, de muy participativo. Ajá. Y algunos que me abandonan siempre están ahí en my mind. Julio, <risa> <risa> okay. oh, so, Julio. No, I didn't know. Who is teacher? Ah, guess who? Guess who? Adivinen quién. Ok. Ahí está en el chat. I'm waiting for you. Ok, listen, class. Ya ustedes compartieron sobre la etiqueta en el trabajo y en sus compañías. Ahora van a producir el idioma. ¿Por qué? Van a construir. Uy, ¿cómo vamos a construir? De la siguiente manera, easy. Here, you are in charge of a group. Imagine this. You are in charge of a group that is going to visit another company to make an alliance. Un, eh, ustedes está, usted está a cargo de un equipo que va a ir a otra compañía in order to make connections. An alliance is the objective. Hacer una alianza con la otra compañía es el objetivo. You have to write a short etiquette manual for your colleagues. Acá ustedes van a escribir un manual, ¿verdad? En equipo. Van a generar un, un etiquette manual year 2023, for example. The number one, greet everyone in the facilities. Saluda a saludar a todo el mundo o a cada uno en las instalaciones. Facilities, instalaciones. Y acá continúan, two, three, four, five, and six, okay? And later, we're going to share here in the main session room. Is that okay? Okay. 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 Very well. Here we go. Recuerden que es con otra compañía, no con el mismo equipo, ¿verdad? No con la misma gente que se ven o que pertenecen a la compañía. No, es a crear buena impresión porque van a hacer una alianza con la otra eh, compañía. Here we go. I'm going to send you the invitations right now. Go to your groups. Join your groups, please. Go, go, go. And let's practice. B. 
Virginia, go to your group. Evelyn, go to your group. Okay, Mervyn, go to your group. Evelyn, Evelyn, go to your group. Okay, Evelyn, I need you in group number four, please, Evelyn. Oh, no, no. Bueno, <laughs> ahorita es como que, como que Unicommerce va, va a ser una alianza con Almacén en Simán. <risa> Nombre imposible sería. <risa> <risa> Vaya, pues. Ah, pues ¿Con, que con que separando nos estamos de la bodega. <risa> hey, yeah, but sing is recorded over here and it is uploaded okay. to YouTube. <risa> okay, teacher, sorry. Okay, bye. Let's imagine Vaya. that. The la cura la curazao the... and unicomer. <risa> ah, <risa> sí. Okay. Son, okay. Bueno, affiliates. Uh -huh. Compañía okay. afiliadas. Yes. Affiliates. Ser educados con, con. ¿Cómo sería? Ser, ser eh, cordiales con las personas con las que vamos a estar, no sé. Be gentle. Or Gentiles, be gentle. Okay. Let's see here. Um, huh. Be gentle. Se me puso en me ah, se me puso negra mi pantalla. Por be gentle. Ah, okay, be gentle. Uh, be gentle. Uh, y, 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 y estaría mal porque yo lo, yo lo había escrito cordial. Pero sí, mejor no, no, gentle. Okay. Be gentle. Yes. With everyone or with everything. With everyone. Everyone. Mm -hmm. okay. Be on time. Be be on time. Or yes. be punctual. Or uh, be punctual or be time. Or be on time, time teacher. Be Yeah. Ask, ask for help. No, not for help. For no, for I mean, use please and thank you. Yeah. Uh -huh, teacher. Be punctual. Be punctual. Be punctual. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. <laughs> be on time, be punctual is the same to be, be, re to be responsible. Yeah. Okay. So you decide the word, be punctual, be on time. Okay. It's the same, synonyms. The synonym, okay. Synonyms, uh -huh. okay. I say, boy, I say. So Miguel <laughs> says, be no on me time. No ¿Cuál dijimos que era la tres? Be, be punctual or be on time in the company. Be punctual, okay. Porque ya hablamos de respetar la hora de entrada, el uniforme, el, el uh, orden y limpieza. Uh, what about punctuality? Be punctual. Para la entrada. Yes. <laughs> Because if you are going to arrive to a new company, they are going to be waiting for you, expecting that you arrive on time. Yes. Porque nosotros habíamos puesto teacher respect work hours. Ah, yeah, it can be. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's okay. Excellent. Great. Okay. Mm -hmm. Entonces hoy sería como que 
tomarse el tiempo adecuado para comer podría ser. Uh, what about uh, watch your language? Ser cuidadoso con, con lo que se dice, con el lenguaje. Uh -huh. El lenguaje, ajá, ah, eso también. Watch your... con... yeah. uh -huh. Be watch... sure, boy. Okay. And also the tone of voice. Good tone. Use good cuidar, tone of voice. Cuidar del tono de voz. Ajá, uh -huh. yes. Okay. <clears throat> Do you have the five? Yes. Uh, no. Not yet. <laughs> Nos faltan dos. Uh, mm, for example, tone, tone of voice, tone of voice. Okay. Tone of voice. Tone of voice. What if you say, what if you say, use good manners, good manners, use good manners, usar buenos modales. Use good manners. Good, good, buenos modales. Good. Use it good. Use good Use manners. Good, good manners. manners. Uh -huh. Buenos modales. Usar okay. buenos modales. Okay. Okay. So you are done. Yes. Yes. Finish. Okay, so let's return and compare. In, in some cases, you are going to have one or two coincidences, but in the others, maybe you or they have different, the different groups. Okay, let's return. Okay. Let's okay. return. Let's get back. Regresemos al salón para hacer la presentación. Okay. Let's wait for the other partners. Let me see. In 40 seconds, everybody must be here. I have still three groups working in the breakout rooms. Who is going to present in your group, guys? Both of you? One, one, or only one? ¿Quién lo va a presentar? Two or two, or, or, or what? Okay. Okay, class, almost everybody's coming back. Actually, all of you are returned. Okay. Please, if you are so nice, I need you to activate your cameras. If it is possible, please, please. I'm going to take the picture. Nobody told me the picture, teacher, the picture. <laughs> and today, I didn't have a reminder. Hoy nadie me recordó. Virginia, <laughs> where are you? Virginia, yours. Okay, that's good. To the count of three. And magically, Michael's camera is back. Come and in the bronzeado, teacher. Yes, that is the proof. <laughs> La prueba. I go. It is okay. To the count of three. Here we go. One, two, three. Say yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm going to share it with you. And you tell me if it is okay or if we need another one with filter. So very handsome, teacher. Or please. Oh, okay. Excuse me. I beg you, okay. So thank you so much. Now, class, it is time to listen to your musical voices, okay? Presenting your rules, your etiquette rules. Group one, Julio, Cesar, Virginia, and Wilbur, please. <laughs> 
The number one, introduce ourselves cordially. Cordial. Julio. Okay. Uh, number two, number three, please. Okay, now the expression. Expression. Expression, sorry. Of our new alliance. 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 A smile always, a smile always. Always a smile, always as, in a, smile. as in a picture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay um, That's it, picture. To, to, to better deals and business. Huh? <laughs> um, ¿Cómo se pronuncia um, llegar a mejores acuerdos y negocios? Better agreements. And business, yeah, better uh, agreements uh, and business. Okay. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Next. Only those. Solamente Me. eso. No, no. Um, no. Uh, this goes and then benefits. Uh -huh. Esas son las que tenemos ahorita. Solo una nos okay, faltó. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Now, next team. We have uh, Maria Isabel, Miguel, and Rafa. Okay. Rafael, let's start, please. Okay. Uh, be gentle with, in, with everyone. Be punctual. Respect everyone employees. Who continues? Okay. Um, Isabel? Isabel? Isa? Three, be on time in the other company. Number four, always carry your identification card. Miguel, <laughs> let's talk. ¿Cuál falta? Your turn, <laughs> the last one. That. Okay. Uh, yeah. Respect every one employees or do not eating on the desk. Okay, yes. do not eat at the desk. Number three, Carlos Hazel. Okay, Hazel, are you there? Use always the words please and thank you. And can uh, shake and a eye contact. And number three, be punctual. And that's Carlos. And listen very carefully and no interrupt. And use a correct clothes. Appropriate clothes. Appropriate clothes, yes. And don't interrupt. Yes, and don't interrupt. Okay, thank you so much. Very well done. And here we go. Uh, Evelyn, Catherine, Maria, Leticia, Mervyn. Who is presenting? Leti, Marvin. Yes. Nothing. Okay, begin, please. And number two. Okay. <laughs> Respect work hours. And three. We are work uniforms. We are work uniforms. Yes. Four. And maintain it. Maintain order and clean clean line number five say uh, what your tone of voice and use good manners use okay. use good manners okay. use good manners good manners good manners okay good very manners. well congratulations to the class you did a pretty good job Okay, all of you participated and created the language. You created an etiquette manual, a short etiquette manual, and now you are aware how those rules are named, okay? They are etiquette uh, rules at work. So class, uh, continue working in the platform. Thank you for joining. I hope to see you tomorrow because tomorrow is our class number 15. I'm going to be updating your grades in the platform. 
And thank you. Congrats. Have a good night. Sleep well. See you tomorrow. Have God a good bless night. you. See you tomorrow. Good night. You Catherine, tomorrow. you stay with me. Bye bye. Right. Only Catherine. Catherine stays with the teacher. Okay, Catherine is going to stay with the teacher. <laughs> bye bye. Take care. Go. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, Catherine. Bye bye. Take care. Bye. bye. Now you don't want to leave. Hoy no se quieren ir. Como no les toca. Okay, bye bye. Take care. Bye, Evelyn. Bye, Marvin. Bye, Rafa. Bye, Julio. Okay, Miss. Uh -huh. No, they are, they are keeping an eye on you. Mire, están viendo a ver si se queda o no. Okay, Miss. Here we go. We are going to have a practice on pronunciation, reading and, pro and pronunciation, okay? Okay. Porque sí, necesito que, que practiquemos eso, okay? Uh, first, I read the paragraph and later you read, okay? There are many good, many workplace etiquette guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you had an emergency, that is okay. However, habitual latecomers are never appreciated in any organization. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the concerned authority and report the reason why you are late. Now you. Paragraph one. Okay. Good etiquette and the workplace. There are many workplace etiquette guidelines. Guide. No, guide guidelines. Guideline. Uh huh. Guideline. But the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you are an emer emergency. Emergency. emergency? Emergency, this this okay. No, that is okay. That is okay. However, however, it allows comments I never appreciate. Appreciate, no, appreciated. Appreciated. In any organizations, if you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organizations. If you know that you will be like when a good etiquette guideline, guideline, which you call the Concerned, 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 authority and report the reason why you lie. Why you are late. Why you are late. Okay, now let's go over the second part. Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace, email etiquette of other countries in the official emails. You need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. You also need to include all the important details. You should use formal and grammatically correct language for emails. In addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very, we oh, sorry, no, I was over number three. Okay, go over number two, Miss Catherine. Etiquette is also important with you how to communi communicate, communicate, communicate with your employees or clients is any part on the world. In the class, 
In those, is, no, listen. In those cases. In the, those cases. Those cases. It is necess, necessary in the how good knowledge. Knowledge of the workplace image etiquette on the countries. In the official image, you need to make the subject clearly, clearly and be concise. 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 Mm -hmm. You also need to close and the important details you should use formal and grammatical correct language for image okay so here to mention and you say tomato tomato is to, to mention to mention okay to no to mention to mention Okay, that's correct. Very well. Now here, paragraph three. I'm going to diminish this, okay? In addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisors. Listen to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretations. Okay, go over. In addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone and some pain Point at some point. Here, at, at some point. Some, at some point during on dialing work. Be polite when you're tied to your employees on your super supervisors. In your, in your supervisor, listen to why. Decide careful, carefully, and you know, carefully, and you know, interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretations. 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 Okay, etiquette guidelines are important even when you are celebrating with coworkers. If you get a call when you are eating, say, excuse me, and then receive the call. Do not talk loudly while eating. And remember to close your mouth when you chew, chew. You should remember that your behavior and manners are under observation. Following etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role for future promotions. Okay, now you. Etiquette guidelines. Guidelines. Etiquette guidelines are important. Ever when you are celebrating with your co workers, in you get a call when you are eating, say, Excuse me, and the receiver to call. Do you know? Loading while eating, and remember to close your mouth. When you shake, you should remember that you have a manner I hold their reservations. Observation. Observations. Following etiquette with guidelines. 
guidelines could play a very vital role for future future futures promotions promotions okay miss please repeat after me guidelines guidelines however 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 no however however okay appreciated 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 okay guideline guideline concerned 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 cases cases knowledge knowledge to mention to mention no to mention no to mention to mention okay concise concise knowledge knowledge speak and speak at some point and some point no at con at, te, at some point at some point daily work daily work supervisors supervisor carefully carefully do not interrupt do not interrupt do not interrupt do not interrupt clear clear interpretations interpretations guidelines guidelines eating eating receive receive do not talk loudly do not talk loudly chew chew behavior behavior are under observation are under observation following following vital 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 Vi vital future future promotions promotion okay thank you and now me is here let's practice this conversation you are amanda and i am luis okay you begin comienza usted a leer lo que amanda dice yo soy luis do you often sing email yes i do is appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails. No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more this to write effective, effective emails? Yes, sure. Okay, repeat after me. Appropriate. Appropriate. No, así como lo, lo ve escrito con R acá. Appropriate. Appropriate. Ok, abbreviation. Abbreviations. Effective. Effective. Ok. Miss, thank you very much for giving me your time. And let's see. I need to tell you that in the platform, as far as I can see, Catherine, let me see your work. Catherine, me ha trabajado ya toda la plataforma, Catherine, mm -hmm. hasta el examen final mes. Entonces, mm -hmm. necesito que se siga conectando para que 
gane la asistencia, ¿verdad? Porque recuerde que son dos situaciones, la asistencia y el trabajo en la plataforma, ¿ok? ¿De acuerdo? Ok, okay. thank you very much for staying with me. Hope to see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye bye. Sleep well. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.